I'm at the bottom of South Barul today because it is the middle of summer and traditionally the Manx people would cut reeds at the bottom of Barul and take them up the hill and leave them at the top as their rent for Mananan Machlia. He's written down in various places as being a god or as being more like a king or a chief of man and he was believed to be the ruler of man and some people believe that's where we get the name the Isle of Man, the Isle of Mananin. And he lived here on Barul in a fort. He was believed never to have to resort to force to protect his island so he was able to shroud the island in a magical mist which is known as Mananin's cloak so that any potential invaders wouldn't see it or pass it by. And if anyone did manage to slip through his mist, it was believed that he could make one man standing on the Brava Hill look as though he were a hundred, so he could deter invaders like that. Manannan ruled with kindness, and so the people of the island paid a rent to him each year. We had a pretty good deal, really, because all they had to do was bring green rushes to the top of Barul on Midsummer's Eve, which is St John's Eve, so in Fail Yon, the festival of John, and they'd cut the reeds at the bottom of Barul and take them up and give them to Manannan as their year's rent for living on his island. This tradition is still carried out today in the island, not by everybody as it once reportedly was, but the most common place that people might have seen it is actually between the church and the hill on Tinwald Day. Rushes are laid along the gravel path and you'll notice that if you look carefully on Tinwald Day. And also there are still people who will take rushes to the top of Barul and lay them there. It's important to me and to my family, less from a traditional point of view, although I think it's important to keep these traditions alive. We're a farming family and it's important to us that we recognise the seasons and that we are truly dependent on them. And so it's nice just to add this old tradition into something that we still value and need today.